being in a city like Los Angeles offers a kind of a, a living laboratory to think about all of the things that uh, we do here on a day-to-day -day basis that we could be doing better, more efficiently. One of the things that makes UCLA very unique is we are placed in a very large urban setting, a very diverse urban setting. We're sort of dependent on infrastructure, but we don't have a historically grounded city grid or idea about what our city should be. We really have an expansive notion, you know, like what will it be next? Los Angeles is this, the second largest city in the United States. It is diverse and complex and offers a lot of opportunity and potential for change in ways that other cities have a harder time accomplishing. There is a need, there's an opportunity, and that the people here are, are very willing to try advanced new technologies. The idea is that Los Angeles would not only benefit itself by becoming 100% sustainable in water and energy, but that Los Angeles would also become a model for the rest of the planet. What we do here with this grand challenge for environment and sustainability in Los Angeles, it's not just going to affect Los Angeles, but the lessons we learn and how we address these challenges, they will ripple out across the country and across the world. If the 20th century was about New York and Chicago and kind of traditional cities, and the 19th century was about Paris and, I don't know, maybe the end of Vienna or something like that, I think the 21st century is really Los Angeles.